Hi, my name is Sydney and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sundial. Um, if you're not sure what a sundial is, it's basically a homemade clock that we use the sun um, to tell the time. So what you're going to need for this activity is a couple sheets of construction paper, one unsharpened pencil and a sharpened pencil, a marker, a bowl, a glue stick, and optional googly eyes. So we're going to start out by taking one of our pieces of construction paper and we're going to flip our bowl upside down. Then we're going to use one of our pencils to trace around the bowl, creating a perfect circle. Then we're going to cut out our circle. Here we go. I'm going to set this aside. Next, we're going to use another piece of paper and we're going to make our rays for the sun. So we're going to need 12. So We're going to draw them out and then again we're going to cut them out. So once we have 12 triangles of around the same shape, they don't have to be identical, we are going to be arranging them in the shape of a sun. So you can go ahead and put them around the circle, making sure that there is a clear 12 o'clock at the very top that could serve as noon or midnight and another triangle directly below it for 6 o'clock, a triangle for 3 o'clock, and another one for 9. After that we can kind of place our other ones around and they should be as straight as possible, but it's okay if they're not perfect. And once we have those, we want to make sure that our 3, 6, 9, and 12 are nice and straight, and then we can pick up our circle and start gluing our triangles together. Now you can use either liquid glue or a glue stick. For this I'm going to use liquid glue. We are going to glue these by gently picking up the corners and just putting a little drop of glue and then we can move on. We're going to go all the way around our circle like this. Again, the most important part is that our 3, 6, 9, and 12, or in this case our yellow pieces, are all as straight as possible. So feel free to adjust when you're done to make sure those are straight. And then we are going to take our circle from earlier and we are going to put glue just around the outside so that we can put it on top. So you have some glue on there. Just gonna put it like so. So this is what we have so far. And now we can have a little fun with it. So it's up to you if you want to draw a face on it. 
I might use some googly eyes just to give it a little flare. We are also going to mark the center of our circle. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but feel free to eyeball it and just make a little dot and we'll use that later. And the next thing we are going to do is number our sun. So since this is gonna be serving as a clock, the numbers on the rays are gonna follow like a clock. Meaning up here, you're gonna have 12. Once we finish gluing our rays on and drawing on our numbers, it's gonna to start to resemble a clock. And we only have one more step left and that is finding our point where we said our nose would be or the center of our circle. And we're gonna take our pencil that is does not have a point on it and we are gonna punch it through the nose hole. So feel free to just put your two fingers right here. That way you can support the pencil coming through and just kind of just like that. And then if you have a paper plate or styrofoam or anything lying around the house, that'll work. And we are going to use this to tell our time. So it's sticking straight up. That way when the sun rays hit it, the shadow will indicate what time it is. Now we're gonna take this outside and give it a test. Hi, so now we brought it outside and we're gonna test it out. So. Using my phone, I want to make sure that 12 is facing north. As you can see, we have this facing exactly north, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit snowy out here. Um, not super ideal, but there's a slight shadow indicating that it is 12, between 12 and 1, which would make sense because it's 1243. So have fun outside. Tune in next time.